So, okay, uh, I wanted, I want to show you the exercise. Basically, the exercise that I that I would like us to to review is there are two exercises. So one is related to the TEI register and what happened when you refill these uh, these reserve values. So I'm using another uh, another server for this example. And you can um, you can do it with the one that uh, with the one from the academy. So, for example, uh, for I'm uh, for for this case, I'm using I'm changing the the reserved values to to ninety, and I want you to know where you can find it in your Android app. So this is what you. That you that you find here. Oops. Mm, sorry, I change it here. In general settings, you find ninety. And if we go and if we go to the Android uh, to the Android app and we go to settings, we will find these all, all, all these parameters or you know, these little sections. And if we go to reserved values and we click here, we will find uh, for example, in this case, uh, all these uh, parameters like it says ID reserved values left for system case ID and 89 for TV uh, identifier. And if I click refill, well, then it will, is going to change to 90, the value that I read, that I put it here. So that's one of the uh, ways to, to do this exercise. You can do it on your own um, using the academy, the, the server from the academy. Again, the, uh, under the value that you will I'm using uh, an example from another server, so it's not the same number. Um, you will find it here again, one more time, just to, to know. We go general, general settings. We go to this section, this part, reserved values. And if we want, and we change the number here, well, in, in this case, you are not gonna not be able to change it because uh, the user, uh, it's not uh, it's not allowing in this case to, to change, but you can you 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 can take a screenshot of what is the number that is that it says for reserved values, and also you need to find on your Android app what are the values that were bef before we fill in the reserve the TI reserved values, and what are the and if the result is the same as the one we put it here on the Android settings level. That will be the first part of the of the of this exercise. Uh, and if there's something that is not very clear, very open to to talk about it. And the other exercise is this one and is related to program uh, the synchronization of program settings. So for program settings, again, we go here, synchronization programs. And in this part of the synchronization programs, I've added in, in this particular case, I added some, some parameters for some programs, for example, child program, uh, TV program, and efficient morbidity, mortality. Um, and how can I, and I put some, in this case, some, let's say that it's random numbers. So it says 150,050 DAIs. Where can I find if I'm, uh, these parameters that I'm supposed to, uh, that my app is going to download? Um, you're gonna find it here. And this is what I would like you to, 
to, to do it is again, go to the Android app, go to settings, and on settings, you'll find sync parameters. If you click on program settings, then you're gonna find a list of programs. Um, as you can see here, uh, these are the same, the same numbers that I put here. So 150 for child program, 1000 for inpatient and 50 for TV program. And those are the same uh, numbers or of the uh, numbers of the eyes that I that I have put uh, for uh, or change for for these specific programs. Um, another uh, again, and another thing that you can also find here is, for example, it says here the maximum tracked entity in, uh, the the maximum TEI to download is two hundred. And the maximum events to download is a thousand, right? Here you can also find it here events maximum thousand, TI two hundred. So that's the way we can uh, find these parameters, and you can uh, check or validate that what what someone is configuring on the Android settings app is actually uh, changing on the Android app. Mm, and but I mean, it's really important to know that, that again, if you put some, if there are parameters that you, you add on the Android settings app, it's going to affect the Android app. Always be aware of that. Uh, all of, uh, I have, I have done this on another server. So I hope you can do it on our Academy server. The programs, uh, are, you're gonna find programs that are already uh, configured for for each each of you. So again, very open to to discuss any any question, trouble, or some or doubts that that, that you you have about this exercise. Um, that will be it from my side. Um, if you if you want, you can start doing it now if we have some time. Uh, so we can discuss it during this time. Thank you, Milagros. So yeah, um, so now for all the participants, you have some time to do the exercises. And we're going to remain here in case you need help with it, in case you have more questions about the, the settings for up that Milagros has been explaining. Uh, Milagros, in the meanwhile, if there are no questions, because I think it was a great tip from someone yesterday, so let's. Um, Let's wait for a couple of minutes, and if there are no questions, we can stop the recording. Like this, the the size of the uploaded file is smaller, and people with bandwidth issues can download it easily. Perfect. So I'm gonna stop the recording now, right? Wait for one second. Are there any questions yeah. regarding the exercise? I see one in, in Slack. Oh, okay. It says the reserve values on the server is 80 and in the app is 100. Uh, Johan says, when I click on refill on the app, it seems nothing happens. So I'm not sure if they need to um, reset just to see the 80 or I don't know, Milagros. Okay, uh, I'm gonna check uh, the the server just to verify.
Uh, Milagros, in the, well, I don't know if you, if you, because I'm not seeing your screen anymore. Uh, we have some question in the, um, in Slack, people uh, don't understand very well what they need to submit in the exercise one. So maybe if you could go through it again. Yeah, sure. Um... Give me a second. Okay. Let me share my screen, Brad. Uh, uh, okay. What, yours, uh, what you should um, submit are two screenshots of this process. So as I said, here is what you, uh, you will find in the settings web app. And when one of the screenshots that you should submit is the one before refilling and then what happened after you refill. Sorry, I'm attending some, some questions as well. I know this was a question by Eprima Yellow. Was it more clear now, Eprima? Or you need more clarification? Okay, uh, some of you are saying that it's not working. Um, you need to know that in order to retrieve these new changes, you need to make uh, metadata or sync configuration. So there are some values that have been put on the server side and for your application to receive these changes, you need to do a, a synchronization. If you have free, um, if, uh, sorry, yeah, if maybe you, if you have fully sync everything, what you can do is delete again the app, the, sorry, the, the data, and see if when you sync, you retrieve these new ones. Mm -hmm. 